Okay, hello guys so this is the poco m5 or with the other name is redmi 11 prime 4g and the code name is rock or stone and this video will show you how to root this one okay it's using the latest firmware when i'm making this video e14.0.1 on android 13 okay so all the step and file i will provide in my blog you can check the link in the description box okay if you have any questions feel free to ask on the comment section okay so stay tuned and check it out okay hello guys assalamualaikum we meet again with ombop this time in my hand i have the kind of latest xiaomi pon Okay, this is the Poco M5 or the other name is Redmi 11 Prime 4G okay so today we're going to try to root it and you can see right here it's using me 14 on Android 13 it has 128 GB of internal storage and 4 GB of RAM and using the MediaTek Helio G99 so it's using the mu 14.0.1.0 okay so make sure you have the same firmware or simply just flash the stock firmware that i'm providing in my web website or blog okay <clears throat> okay and <clears throat> first thing to do like usual for newer xiaomi pond you need to go uh, sorry, you need to add the Xiaomi account at additional settings go to developer options and <coughs> Make sure to unlock your device. Okay, so you have to wait for seven days and I have wait seven days and now it's time to unlock the pawn. Okay So Make sure remove all the account and email so you will not get stuck in FRP, okay? And now let's turn off the pawn and start unlock with loader the pawn. Okay, now let's switch to the desktop screen. You can see right here now I am on the Facebook mode. Okay, Facebook mode like usual can be accessed by pressing the volume down and power button at the same time. And when you see a black screen like this. With the Facebook text, you're good to go. Okay, now I have login into my me account, and now let's just hit the unlock button. Wait for five seconds. <clears throat> Wait again until it's finished. When it's finished, it will automatically restart and go to the stock recovery to format the data. So from here, we can wait until it goes to the home screen. After that, we can continue to patch the boot image and other stuff. And now we are in the home screen. So we have successfully unlocked bootloader upon. Okay, let's check the bootloader status. Go to the settings. But upon. <clears throat> and hit the build number five times. Go back. Scroll down. Additional settings. Developer option. And find find where you have where is it the bootloader status <laughs> gave me unlock status the device is unlocked so we're good to go and next step we need to have the firmware the same firmware like in the pond okay so in, in my pond it's zimu 14.0.1 uh, id okay this is indonesian version so you can simply download your own uh, stock firmware or simply just flash the same firmware like I do and use my patch boots and other stuff and here we go this is my stock firmware it's the same version like in the pond okay me 14.0.1 id indonesian and root 13 okay all you need to do is just open the file extract your folder I already extract in here and questions where you can get your firmware okay simply just open the 
Xiaomi from your update.com slash archive slash muses rock find your region here you can find the Indian uh, Indonesian <coughs> European Union global Turkey and other stuff okay just download or simply just flash same firmware like I do okay and go to the image folder okay and then find your boot image okay this one let's copy the boot image and paste it <coughs> in your device okay, internal storage let's activate the mtp <coughs> okay let's put it into the document folder right here and we also need magis okay <coughs> Okay, feel free to use magis that you like. I'm going to use the delta one. Okay, so I'm going to copy the APK right here. Okay, done. Now let's switch again the screen. Okay, now let's find the file manager. Uh, where is it? The file manager. We need to install the magis APK. Uh, where is it? Okay, this, this is the file manager. Let's open it. Okay, and find your images. You can use any images that you like. But if you use mine, it means you're using the Delta Canary. Okay, okay, and install the apps. <clears throat> it's quite, quite straightforward because Usually for a new pawn, newer pawn, we don't have any custom recovery yet, so that's boot is the best method. Okay, now go to the install menu right here. Select end patch file. Find where you copy the boot image. I put it into the document folder. Select the file. Let's go. <clears throat> and it will start patching the RAM disk. And done. It will put the file in the into the download folder. Okay, now let's uh, go to the internal storage of the pun. Go to the download folder and you will find the magic underscore patch blah blah blah. Paste it into your computer. And from here we need to go to the Facebook mode. Okay, now the device is reboot to the Facebook mode. Okay, let's flash the patch boot image. <clears throat> Just type fast boot space flash space boot space. Click and drag the file, and it's done. Okay, let's boot reboot. We want to boot again to the Android home screen. Now let's open the magis. Usually for the first time it will require additional setups. Just hit OK and it will automatically reboot in 5 seconds. Okay. After that we can test using a root beer checker and other stuff. So I already also installed the root beer and advanced root checker. Okay, let's open the magis. Magis install on blah blah blah. Okay. After this, you can play around, install elbows, manipulator, uh, other stuff. Okay, you can go to the settings, enable the JGs, bootle protection, and magic site if you want to. Okay, now let's check the root beer. So, we haven't hide the apps yet, so it still can read root access. Okay, nice. Root it. Uh, okay, now the advanced root. <coughs> Your stone is rooted on Android 13. Okay, stone is the code name, and we're good to go. Okay, that's all, guys. I hope it helps you. It's it is the tutorial on how to <coughs> root your Poco M5 stone using Magis. Okay, so see you on the next video.